Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about the market basket analysis in advanced uh, database management system. So, what do you mean by market based basket analysis? For example, you go to a supermarket. Now, what do you see? That certain items have been arranged in a certain order. That is, uh, chocolates have been arranged in one section. Then vegetables and fruits have been arranged in one section. Then uh, milk has been arranged or dairy products in one section along with them breads and biscuits. So there's a particular pattern that has been followed, right? So how do we decide or how do the shopkeepers decide that they have to keep the items in such a way? Now, suppose you have gone uh, for grocery shopping with your mothers. So they don't generally make a list or they don't generally decide the, what they have to buy. Suppose they see uh, bread. So then they'll buy bread okay and then suddenly when they see the next shelf of milk they'll say oh yes i had to buy milk also now that is when they see bread automatically when they see milk after bread they come to know or they realize that when they'll eat bread they'll also need milk along with it that is whenever any person buys bread for example when any person buys bread it is obvious that he will buy jam or he will buy some peanut butter or some other item that he can use with bread that is the purchase of bread has led to the purchase of many other items along with it okay so this is a uh, this thing market basket analysis so basically it means what is the probability that i will buy item y when i buy item x that is what is the probability that i will buy milk after i have bought bread or i will buy jam after i have bought bread so that is one item is directly or indirectly leading to the purchase of another item okay for example uh, i have to for example i have to make a breakfast bread and butter so it's obvious no that if i purchase butter alone i am not going to purchase butter alone i will obviously purchase bread after butter so the shopkeepers plan their market in such a way that they always keep the shelves of bread after the butter because it is obvious if a if a person is buying butter he will also go on for bread are you getting my point so that is the thing called market basket analysis and how do they come to know they come to know on the basis of previous transactions suppose there were 10 customers who visited the shopkeeper or who visited the supermarket so the shopkeeper realized that all those customers suppose 9 out of 10 they bought bread and milk and butter and uh, 5 out of, out of them they brought bread and milk and uh, uh, you can say wait i'll just give an example suppose we have three commodities bread and butter and milk okay so i have 10 transactions like 10 people came and out of these 10 suppose 9 brought bread and uh, 8 brought butter okay and so, suppose we cut down the milk so we see that those who have taken bread have also taken butter so that is we have analyzed on the basis of my purchases or the previous transactions of persons that all those persons who have taken bread have also purchased butter. That is they have not they would not have purchased butter if they would not have purchased bread. Obviously they are not going to eat raw butter right. They are going to first apply butter on bread and then eat it. That is the market basket analysis that one item that is bread is leading to the purchase of butter. Okay, so this is what, what is happening that is maximizing my shopkeeper sale that is it is increasing the number of products the uh, so what is happening the profit is more so what I do is I put certain things together in a supermarket and I segregate that is separate certain things from another things okay so uh, now suppose we have a, a criteria to uh, demarket to students in two groups that is intelligent and non-intelligent now basically how would it be done on the basis of CGPA right Although this is not a criteria to mark who is intelligent, who is not. But suppose we do it on the basis of CGPA. Non, uh, so that means we have some criteria for classifying things. That is we have some criteria for saying that this person is intelligent and this person is non-intelligent. So in the same way, I also have two factors which will help me to say definitely that purchase of bread is leading to purchase of butter. That is purchase of x we can say a commodity x if i purchase x the uh, i will also purchase y how can i be so sure about it how can i be so sure about it i will be sure about it on the basis of two factors and the two factors are support 
and confidence let me repeat it for you basically what is happening in market basket analysis that is the purchase of one item is leading to the purchase of another item okay so is leading to the purchase of another item so what that is if i'm purchasing x i will put also purchase y this is made sure or this is made certain with the help of two factors that is support and confidence okay uh, this is known as the left hand side and this is known as the right hand side so now let us know what is support the formula for support is that uh the formula for support is lhs giving me rhs that is this this means what that the number of times lhs was purchased and after that rhs was also purchased okay divided by total number of transactions that is whenever lhs was purchased rhs was also purchased along with it okay so let us find for x uh, leading to the purchase of z so let us see that whenever x and z were purchased together x z 1 x z 2 here no z that is i will not include this no x and z together here also here again it is they are 1 2 and 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 that is 5 times whenever x was purchased after that z was also purchased that is 5 upon total number of transactions is 10 that is my support is 0.5 okay now and now we are going to discuss about the confidence and so one thing uh, le uh, let me tell you that more is the support more is the confidence this you will see in the next uh, next part of the video when i'll be discussing about the confidence so let's go move move to the confidence now what is the formula for finding the confidence confidence uh, is equal to LHS leading to the purchase of RHS, okay, divided by support of LHS. Now, what does this support of LHS? I hope this numerator is clear. That is, uh, after LHS, RHS was also purchased those transactions, and LHS means support of LHS means those transactions, those transactions where. LHS was purchased, and support will be what? Support will be what over total number of transactions. Let us see how. We have this example. I have already written it over here for you. Okay, we have this example. So we are finding for x giving me z. Okay, so number of times z was purchased along with x one, two, three. Four and five. That is five upon support of LHS. That is whenever my X was purchased, whenever X was purchased over total number of transactions. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is X was purchased six times. Total number of transactions is ten. That is the confidence is fifty by six. You can find out the answer. That's all about support and confidence and the master's bas mar market basket analysis. If you have any doubts, you can please mention below in the comment section or mail me at lastminutetutorials dot com. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching.